Welcome back to another Divi Space tutorial. My name is JB. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a floating social media icon bar using the built in tools in Divi and also how to add additional social media options using the Divi icon party plugin. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that we have to do is head on over to our Divi theme builder. Once we have the Divi theme builder opened up here, you can create a new template with a custom header, or you can just edit an existing header that you have, whether it's global or custom. I'm going to edit my existing global header here. And if it's a, an existing header, you would just apply a new section to your header here. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to insert a single row and type in social media follow for the module we're gonna be adding. And we're gonna add that. Once we add that, we'll see Facebook and Twitter is being displayed by default, but I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to change that uh, to other social media platforms. So let's go to CodePen, switch Twitter over to Discord. And I'm gonna add a couple more, but you might be saying to yourself right now, JB, where you get all these? I don't have these on my list. Well, good question. This is the Divi icon party plugin link will be down in the video description for you to check out. Um, what it does is it adds 50 plus more social media icon op options to your website with Divi. And it just gives you a plethora of other platforms that you can choose from uh, very overwhelming, but very awesome. And then it also gives you the option to have click to email or click to call, which I'm actually going to add the click to email here, which is always very useful. And then I'm going to add one more. Let's add Etsy. All right. Let's move that around so it could look a little bit nice. Mm, I think it'll look better there. I, I think I like that. And then let's go ahead and make these icons a little bit bigger. So let's go to design icon, use custom icon size and do 30 pixels. So it's big enough for clickability and tappability if on mobile. Once we do that, I want it to appear and be fixed on the right side of my web page. So we will go to the advanced tab, click on position, switch our position from default to fixed. And by default, it's going to fix it over to the up top left corner and what we're going to do is a center right position once we do that I actually want them to stack right on top of each other so I'm gonna give it a width of 80 pixels so let's go to design sizing and my width is gonna be 80 pixels and there you have it now it's on the side and then one other thing I like to do is also give it a hover effect or state so when you hover over, it kind of moves to the left. So it knows that it's being hovered over and you're about to select it. So I'm going to do that and we're going to go to content and you will have to do it for each and every one of these. So let's go and start with code pen here, design, transform, and I am going to click on the transform translate, which is a second option here and give it a hover state, clicking on the hover state here so I can only affect the hover state, not the desktop state. And I'm going to unlink these parameters here. And on the bottom one, I'm gonna do negative five pixels. And I'm going to do that to every single one of these icons. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've gone ahead and done that to all my icons here. So I'm going to save those changes. Do command S on Mac or control S on Windows. Once it's done saving, I'm gonna go to my front end and refresh my web page. So I've refreshed my web page here. And as you can see, my icons are actually on the right side of my web page. And when I hover over, they're very interactive because I've added that hover state to these icons. And then when I scroll down, they stay fixed in that position. And it looks really, really neat. I really, really like this. And, and I know that you will too. So that is how you create floating social media icons 
on your website. Thank you so much for watching another Divi Space tutorial. There are gonna be more awesome tutorials just like this. Divi is just a powerhouse and I'm really excited to continue showing you what you can do with it along with other Divi Space products that we have available on our shop. Link down in the video description. If you did like this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up down below. Also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you'll be notified when a new video goes live. Thank you so much for watching once again and I hope to see you in the next video. And as always, keep learning.